Another available measuring mode is discharge voltage. This mode only operates in sequence mode. After setting up the sequence information, you'll be able to measure the voltage on multiple cells during the discharge period. These measurements are all then collected so they can be measured periodically over the discharge time, whether that's one hour or five hours, and then those measurements can be documented automatically with the software. The next mode is simple DMM mode. It's possible to safely measure up to 1,000 volts across a battery string or output from a charger or inverter. The next mode on the dial is the AC voltage. This is useful for measuring input to the charging system, which may be charging the battery. The instrument can safely read up to 600 volts AC. It is safety rated at CAT3, which ensures it can be safely used in most battery installations. The next available mode is ripple voltage measurement. Ripple voltage is measured when the batteries are in a charging state and indicates how much ripple there is on a power supply. The more ripple you see, the more potential there is for the battery to be damaged. The next position on the dial is the auxiliary mode. In auxiliary, you can measure voltage or you can measure the output of a current sensor. So you can measure charging current or discharge current. To measure current, you'll need a Hall Effect current clamp, which measures DC current. The clamp connects to the battery analyzer measurement ports using this 8-pin adapter. Check out fluke.com for more information.